There are a couple parts in Inscription where the game lets you create and customize a card that you can then later play. And if you know what you're doing, then you can make some really broken cards. Here I want to show you the best possible cards that can be made. First of all, if you die in Act 1 of Inscription, Leshy has you create a death card, which is made by selecting three cards from your deck, one to use as the card's cost, one for the attack and health stats, and one for the sigils. Depending on what cards you had in your deck, you can make some pretty crazy stuff with this. But what would be the best possible death card that you can make? Well, the idea would be to get the best possible values for each separate stat that the death card copies through three separate cards. First, a no-cost card, such as a pelt, to make the death card free to play. Then, the highest possible health and attack stats on a card, which are found on the Uriuli with 7 attack and health. Now, the death card is free to play, but has the same stats of the most costly card in the game. Lastly, you'll want to have the best sigil in the game, which is Fecundity, which is found on the Field Mice card. So, this optimal death card would have 7 attack and health, be free to play, and create a copy of itself in your hand each time it's played. In order to actually get the death card that you create, you just have to get lucky and hope that it's found at a card drop event, uh, but once you do have this thing, you'll be pretty unstoppable, and even able to easily take care of the wall of grizzlies. It really wouldn't be all that difficult to make such a death card, as long as your card count is low enough, and you come across those specific cards. Getting a pelt in particular for the cost is really easy, and then you just need one specific common card and one specific rare card. But death cards aren't the only ones that you get to create in Inscription. In Act 3, PO3's Factory, there's an event about halfway through the act that lets you create a card from scratch. First, you have to recycle a card currently in your deck, and it's going to have to be one that you've already buffed at least a couple of times so that it gives you enough SP to work with. You'll need at least 4 SP from the card that you recycle. I almost said SCP, whoops. Then you're going to want to make your cards free to play, keep it at the minimum stats, and then give it the following sigils. Unkillable, Battery Bearer, Brittle, and Gift Bearer. The reason Brittle has to be here is because putting it on your card actually gives you additional SP, since it's a bad sigil, and that'll let you have enough to include the other three sigils. What this card will end up doing is give you potentially infinite energy and cards, so you basically can't lose as long as you draw it. You play the card for free, and then it increases your energy count by one. Then, you use the hammer on it to destroy it, triggering both the unkillable sigil to add it back to your hand, and the gift bearer sigil to create and add a random card to your hand as well. Then you can play it again and repeat this process as much as you want, and use the cards that the gift bearer sigil gives you to attack PO3 with. As I mentioned in the infinite combos video, this will also let you farm up your Orobot stats as much as you want. And then even regular cards in Inscription can be customized by buffing stats and adding sigils, and it is possible to use that to create a card that makes it actually impossible for you to lose as long as you get that card on the board. But I already covered that combo in the Infinite Starvation video, so go check that out for more details. I think it's really cool that the game lets you make your own cards and actually get to use them, as well as the fact that you can make them absolutely overpowered. Making the card in PO3's factory was actually one of my favorite parts of the game. It was like a puzzle trying to figure out what the most broken possible card I could make was. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.